Valentina owner Piero Salvaggio says that Italian food has really gone through an evolution over the years. 30 years ago, if you ordered pasta, you'd get fettuccine or spaghetti. Today, the pasta possibilities are infinite. So I'm in this beautiful room in Valentino, a jewel of an Italian restaurant in Santa Monica, and I'm with Piero Selvaggio, and many people call you the father of modern Italian cucina. Is that right? Uh, yes, it is right because we have been here longer than anybody, so somebody had to be fathering all of this. <laughs> and you opened Valentino Restaurant about 38 years ago, yes. and Italian food at that time was very different than it is today. Tell me about that. I call it the emigrant food. It was those big tables with lots of good uh, tomato, base, garlic, checkered tablecloths, and so forth, but there wasn't the real feeling of what is Italian food today, which means great products, clean looking plates, great chefs, and everything kind of blended together to give that wonderful feeling that everybody loves about Italian food. Describe the ambiance here. You have different rooms and they each feel different. Well, Valentino started as a little storefront with one room, and of course we turned it, we put all of the love that you can put to something that you feel is yours for the first time. We always have a room that is pretty much the so-called main room, and then we have a garden room that is much more brighter, clearer, fresh looking. King. This is an Italian restaurant, but you're adding kind of another ingredient, another layer on top of that. Lately, we have been playing a great deal, for example, with crudo. Crudo di pesce will be Italian sashimi, to make it very simple. Okay. Basically, we marinate a number of uh, wonderful fresh fish, like could be tuna, yellowtail, uh, bass, and we just use our own spices. And we are gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna enjoy some of this delicious food that we've been talking about. Enough of the talk for the moment, we're gonna go see the chef. And Andiamo. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it exciting that Italian food just keeps getting better and better? Well, next up, we're going into the kitchen with Chef Nico Quesa. Calamari Botarga, anyone? with Chef Nico and I ran in here because I want to learn what the Valentino version of crudo is and this is a plate of crudo it's raw so explain it to me uh, basically you, you find and you buy the best uh, fresh uh, fish Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, we got a fantastic tuna, a salmon, and yellowtail with the scallops. You slice, not too thin, not too thick. We marinate it with olive oil and also colatura da lici, which is um, flavor of the ocean, Mediterranean ocean, not just any ocean. <laughs> and then we just sit it on a bed, in this case, of uh, arugula, uh, beets, and, and uh, we use citrus. So this is crudo. This is an example of how Valentino is evolving and how the Italian food is evolving. And now, Chef, you're going to show me a trick to making calamari, and it's calamari botarga. Calamari and botarga, you got the right. Okay. Calamari, or you really briefly cook it, or you cook it through. Otherwise, it becomes it become chewy. And I just briefly marinate it with olive oil, of course, and parsley. Like a good Italian, we use and abuse partly. And then uh, Rachel here, I can put the salad as a bed, Sorry. so then we can have the, the calamari lounging, ah, lounging. On, on the salad. <laughs> here we got some carrots, yes. just to give some color. And we got some celery, nice and fresh. Yes. And then, of course, some spicy arugula. Arugula. Right? And the spicy, of course, come from its natural spiciness. Blood orange, which mm. you can put on here randomly on top of the salad. And then I can have some more juice here. Yum! We love adding more juice to everything. Of course. The smell. See, I don't use wine cooking. Mm. I drink wine when I'm cooking. <laughs> I've just had my glass of wine, I've eaten the calamari botarga, and coming up, I get to dig in to some of Valentino's signature dishes. Valentino owner Piero returns to give us a taste tour. Piero, 
is joining me again, and we're surrounded by a zillion bottles of wine. What is going on here? <laughs> well, there are a zillion great bottles of wine. We have the best of Bordeaux, all of the famous Chateau, Lafitte, Mouton. The wine is king in this room, and we call this the altar. Ah. And in the altar, you have to put food. We have the crudo, which of course is blended and marinated with some nice citrusy fruit, as you can see, shrimp, clams, all things that we're literally swimming this morning, Brett, and here we are. This is exquisite. I it's thank really you. tasty and fresh and just a taste explosion. And this is called Botarga, and is the mullet roe mm. that is shaved and is salty and spicy all at once. But of course, the triumph, I think, is the chocolate fettuccine. Even okay. if you are having pasta and pasta, you have to right. have this because it's very dear to me. Right. So <laughs> the, there is a taste that is very particular. And then you blend it with this sauce that is nothing but great ragu of fresh fish. So you have lobster, you have pieces of crab, you have tomato, you have great olive mm. oil. Mm. And you should have a pound of this and a pound of this, but have a bite for now. <laughs> and then you have sweets. So we should put all of this away. <laughs> right. And look what you have in front of you, a Sicilian cassata. Cassata is the best of ricotta, the best of marzipan. This is what the Arabs brought to Sicily, and this is what, to me, is heaven on earth. It's just fantastic. You did say yeah, heaven on earth, though. So I'm stuck here with my moment of heaven on earth. Absolutely Great. delicious. I've had a great time. I hope that you have too. My stomach is full and my palate is so happy. And you know, one of the great things about Valentino is that they use unusual ingredients to create inspired dishes. So if you love Italian food like I do, you should definitely put Valentino on your calendar.